What's going on, guys? Um, feeling good. Woke up about an hour ago. Decided to do this video. Um, this is going to be a video that's going to be about a half an hour long, whatever such. Um, it's going to talk about, you know, when you grow as a business or as an individual, as a person, it brings negative people. It brings, I'm not going to say haters, but um, people that's going to hate you no matter what. So this video is going to tell, um, you know, last night I got a lot of texts, a lot of Discord messages. Um, I got a lot of, um, you know, Instagram messages or a couple of Instagram messages, a bunch of different things. I'm going to address it now. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm not going to address any individual person um, or channel that um, looks to try to get some shine off of me by negatively talking about me and putting out and spreading false uh, narratives and l literal lies and trying to dox, you know, which, you know, is illegal um, in a way that was done from what people were texting me and telling me. I didn't watch the video because I didn't want to be triggered to the point of responding and giving that individual, I guess, or people what they wanted because they're not that important to me and to um, the YouTube space. And from what I was told, um, the channel, I mean, if they're not talking about me, it's going to just die with no views, whatever. But um, let me say this, okay? I'm going to start by saying <sighs> everything that has been put out about me the past week or two, nobody has any insider secrets or nobody. I, first off, I don't have a camp, okay? This YouTube is me, okay? I'm cool with Christina. She's like, 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 we're, we're cool. But we don't talk really all like that. We're not that type of friends or friend. Like, if she moves to California, which she probably won't, then maybe me and her would be more cool. You know, me, her, Cali girl, you know, whatever. Uh, but she's not moving out here. And we don't, I don't call Christina just to like talk to her about life. We're not that type of friendship, okay? We're more of cool with YouTube. You know, I think she's um, confident that I'm going to do good things with YouTube. And, sorry guys, yeah. and I think that she knows that, you know, I'm going to look out definitely with when I get there um, for her and like put her in a game where she can make money with me on this YouTube. But otherwise, you know, we haven't gotten to the point of having a friendship to where I've given her any type of information because she's never asked for it. She doesn't know what my child's mom is, what her name is. Um, or my son. She didn't even know my son's name all like that. So all the messages I got about Christina, just not true. And Nab knows nothing about me either because me and him, we don't talk other than about YouTube. We don't have that type of relationship. I'm a super introvert person. I don't just call people to talk on the phone. Like, I would never call and say, hey, how you doing? Like, and just talk. As much as I would think I would enjoy that because I like to talk, I haven't done that, Okay. So I want to make that clear because a lot of people had a lot of hate when I saw in my Discord and a few other avenues for Christina and she's not, no, she's cool and I got all the love for her. Cali Girl loves her. Everybody's cool with Christina. So I'm going to say that first. Secondly, I didn't do this YouTube to make friends, okay? Once again, it was a vent session, like a chill, a vibe um, that turned into. So... What I found kind of nasty with the text that I was getting is people saying that there's a lot of fake people that I allowed to uh, be in my circle who literally like is like trying to run with the crowd that's saying things behind my back. And then I had to say to that person, like, what friends? Like, I tried for like the past week and a half to try to be cool with some people, you know, and try to go over and beyond to be cool with people. Like, I even invited some people to come over. But my thing is, I don't care. I'm happy. I don't want to deal with people. Y'all got to understand, I'm an introvert. I like to sit here by myself and be on a computer and watch TV if I'm not working. Otherwise, that's that's my life. I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to hang out with people. I be wishing, like, when I be when I go with Cali Girl, for example, with their family and friends, I'm counting the, the moments when I can go and just go back home and just chill. Or go back to work. I don't like to be around people. Not like I say I don't like people, but I just don't trust people because people are half the time are boring, not really lit for what I want to call it. And then on top of that, they're phony. 
okay? Um, and then they're Debbie Downers. So I don't want to deal with people. I don't want that energy. So what was texted to me was more so something of a, you know, you got to let all these people in your circle and they're putting your business out there. And they're faking this. I'm like, first off, I have nobody that I associate on YouTube that knows anything personal about me other than Christina. She knows like me and Cali girls inside relationship situation. Like she knows a little bit about that. Nav knows a little bit, but other than them two, nobody knows nothing. So they ain't put no business out there because they put it out there. What was said from what I got, you know, on my phone this morning would have been actually real. It would have been false. It was to the point that I guess somebody texted me that like Cali girl goes Costco shopping every day or something to buy me groceries because I can't afford to buy groceries. I'm, I'm, I'm using her when I literally was on Facebook, I mean, on YouTube live yesterday and I was at uh, Walmart um, shopping. And I remember I was doing a con, I was like, Hey, how much you think I spent? And it actually was like 171. Um, but, um, I spent, or I said 181, but it came to like 174. People wanted to see how much this came up to. How much this came up to. So far we're at $93. Let's see where we're at. Total came up to 174. I guessed 181, but I was off by seven bucks. Now, that was like a one con. One like, what the heck? And then I think somebody also texted me and said something about like, like my my son, like I can't buy him shoes or something, or they're gonna buy him shoes or something. Not realizing this person, this is how stupid these people are. From what I was, you know, from what I was told, that they said, I guess Christina was sharing information which she didn't know anything about my sending some shoes. Nobody knew because I didn't tell nobody. Um, but I actually just bought my son's shoes, like, or sent him money to buy shoes like a few days ago. Um, you know how crazy this is that um, people would make up anything just to, just to, I guess, I guess destroy me from what people were saying. You know, it's crazy. I, 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 I heard the word, you know, once again, I had like like 30 text messages I woke up to and a couple of Instagram messages and a bunch of Discord. But I heard the word that somebody literally said that they're trying to destroy me, that they're ruining my career. Like, I had to laugh, like what career? What career do I have? I'm not even really popping on YouTube yet. I'm just now starting, today's the first day. And then somebody reached out on Instagram and, and told me I got to come to court. I got to answer. And I'm like, I'm like, this is fantasy world. This is delusion fantasy world. I think people brains are literally fried to the point that like they think that like I'm going to go and answer to individuals who um, would be low enough to have in conversation like like they're gonna look through my my son's window like that was actually said in this conversation that they're going to um look through like like people looking through my son's window you know how crazy and you know i'm hoping that my kid mom doesn't see this video because she'll probably like take the time to look up that live actually she's busy probably won't but people around her might take the time to look at that live. And if they hear what, what some of the stuff that I was text and it was said, she would probably call the feds. You know, she probably call the cops just because she's petty like that. Not like me. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to, I don't want to see people locked up. But she's not like me. Like most people are like me. Most people don't play, especially when it comes to kids being threatened. Okay. Even though those were more like more than likely empty threats, but still, she'll call the feds, and who knows? She might see this video. She might do that, but I'm not really. Um, I don't really care. So I'm gonna keep it moving. But I'll say this: um, every single thing, it's like laughable that. And I only came on here because I'm not gonna allow Christina to be ran through the mud. Otherwise, I wasn't even gonna address any of this stuff and talk. But, you know, I feel like, I feel hurt that people try to make her out to be a bad person, that she's not. Um, so I felt like, you know, I'm going to do this. But let me make this clear. Um, I don't think that I'm above anybody. I think I'm a regular person, which is what I am, 
which is why I didn't decide to make my Facebook private, which I sh guess I should have did. I didn't make my Instagram private. It's all public. So, you know, people go on there and they went on there and they got, you know, names of people. And, you know, the reason why I know is because one of the names that the people said was a, it's not even a real name. It was that Facebook name that they put. So the person put said that name. So now I know that people are just trying to dox me off my Facebook. Mind you guys, I've said multiple times to just go on my Facebook. Who cares? I don't care. But, um, you know. They made the, they put that information out and tried to make it seem like Christina, like they were paying her for my information or something, which is so stupid when all my information is on right on Facebook. And then, you know, we're going to go into a little race real quick. OK. Um, so the biggest, biggest thread of text messages was coming from something about like a, a white guy's raising my kid or something to that sort of nastiness. You know, it's crazy. So. I'm not going to put my, you know, child's mom business out there. But, you know, indeed, she's married. She's a successful woman who's married. I've uh, been married for a few years now. Um, my child's stepfather has only been in his life for about four years now. Um, and he's the man of the house. And I hope that he, you know, um, passes down uh, or shares game that would ultimately make my son... A better man more than what you know I'm already telling him about life and I'm gonna bring to him when I get back to him um, better situation you know for people to be doing that nasty work when my son is actually mixed white and black um, you know his mom um, is white and black because her mom is white her dad is black to have that nasty work going out that people think that I would hate a race of people because my child mom, who's white and black, chose to be with somebody she loves, a white guy. What does that matter? What does that matter with anything? And by the way, um, if any of uh, these individuals um, can come in the comments, I'm going to block them. They're all dead to me at this point. Uh, I'm not going to give any credit to that channel, by the way. Also, if anybody mentions anything about the channel, I'm going to delete the comment. And I'm going to block the channel. And anybody that continues to try to, you know, continue to put comments up referring to that channel, then I'm going to just block you because um, I don't care. Like, I don't care. I don't need any particular person because anybody that respects me would not allow them to have any type of credibility. And if you don't respect me, I don't want you around me because then you're not going to bully me into not like um, doing YouTube, not having comments not doing videos because this is just whatever. So let me go a little bit deeper into it. Um, we had the um, Cali girl, the food situation, you know, just showed that. Um, we had the shoe situation, just showed that. Um, you know, somebody, I mean, there's, I guess it was bad timing. They tried to like say the food, I mean the shoes, but it was bad timing. They didn't realize that you literally just bought my son some basketball shoes the other, or gave him sent the money for basketball shoes the other day. Next thing um, I was, I guess, woke up to is that something about child support and like, how do I afford to, I, I won't work because of child support. Like, you do realize that um, my first child, um, the mother did what she did. And, you know, I tried to put myself on child support so I can get a DNA test, so I can get custody, and that didn't work out. Found out she, you know, has a biological dad who's on a child support, so that was that. My son, I tried to put myself on child support so I can get custody back years ago, and that didn't work out for me. Wasn't able to do that. And right now, the mother, we moved past that, we're good. You know, I send support, which what we agreed upon each month, that's what, you know, she gets. But besides that, anything my son needs, um, he gets, because you gotta remember, like, when you, are like successful as an adult, you don't look at somebody to take care of you. It's about the kid. So you gotta understand, if my son wants to move with me, I'm not reaching out to the mom to help me pay my rent. I already gotta pay rent. Why would I have you pay my rent for me? I'm not reaching out to the mom to put food on this table. I'm not reaching out to the mom to buy anything for my son. I'm gonna get it. So you gotta understand, when you're a successful person like her, she chose to do what she did um, 
She didn't have to look for me to do nothing. Anything helps. So me getting everything my son needs, you know, when he needs his dreads retwisted, line up, needs clothes for something, shoes, you know, food, you know, monthly, you know, for the braces now, he has 155 a month. Now I'm responsible for that. I'm, I'm, I'm just taking care of that. Okay. But otherwise, my son's mom is successful. He doesn't need for nobody. And she raised him. Nobody else. So, you know, people saying stuff, trying to throw, like, um, his stepdad, who is a stepdad, who made my child's mom an honest woman. I respect that. Um, it's called co-parenting. And this is, once again, not to even make it a race thing, but why is it only black men, for the most part, black folks, that just are so oblivious and ignorant to parenting? You don't hate when your child mom moves on and finds somebody that puts a ring on her finger, marries her, and holds down, you know, holds it down for her. You know, mind you, she's her own person. She's that strong, independent woman. She doesn't meet no man for nothing, but she chose to be with a man. But he's still there holding down. So why would I, like, be mad and hate this guy for being involved with my son you do realize that my son's mom has my son she has a daughter you know by you know um another guy and then she has her um newborn by the husband okay my child's mom is a relationship woman she's been in a relationship her whole life <laughs> like she's literally always been in a relationship she's probably been single maybe one month like her whole life. That's just how she is. Relationship. It ain't work out with us. People just aren't. If you're not happy, you move on. It ain't happen with the next guy. Move on and, and whatever. And she got married. And I'm not trying to put anything out there about her. But that's just what it is. She's a great woman. Great person. Great person. I'm happy to have her as my son's mom. Even though I don't like how things went all these years. She's still a good person. And a good mother by all means but yes like for it to be insinuated that i don't like white men because of that situation come on bro for anybody to believe that you're absolutely ignorant and you don't really rock with me to, if you are to believe that one um that was one of the biggest ones and i guess they tried to say christina like leaked some information or something when all of this is, has been said i literally joked about this on my um on a youtube video a few weeks ago like i literally the one that said that his stepdad is white um i literally actually um said you know told y'all the story multiple times about the circumstance around like me you know what happened with my ex with the, the guy that plays the guitar i was joking about okay um i said that and then the information that people were trying to put out is right there on my facebook page the place I'm in right now is right there on my Facebook page. So no matter what, it is what it is. That's the reason why I moved into this place because I knew and I had a feeling that my YouTube would blow to the point that I get fans. That would be crazy because I'm in LA, crazy enough to try to do something if it got to that point, that their jealousy, they couldn't control it. Okay? You're not getting in my building. I have cameras all over here. Okay? There's levels to this. And I'm not just walking outside and just walking around, la, 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 no, okay? And nobody's gonna stand outside and wait for me. It's not that deep. So to believe that, that movie stuff, if you want, nobody is going to wait outside for me. I'm not that big, I'm not that deep and serious into the game, okay? So once again, if somebody happened to decide to, you know, do what they say they wanna do, I guess, guys, only God, knows the, the, um, your fate, your future. And if God decided for that to happen, then it is what it is. So we got, we got those, we put those in the past now, um, you know, what was said, because it's all lies, literally lies, you know, but I don't care because I'm not gonna acknowledge um, any of that anymore and that these people, individuals, because guess what? I have nothing bad to say about them because I don't care. Because 
you know, it's already embarrassing enough that you would go on a channel and say that you're looking through a child's window and you would go on the channel and say nasty things about, you know, once again, women and kids. That that goes enough to say that you're a bad person and your character is flawed because you got to remember most of the people that I was talking to most or the people that I was talking to most don't have real faces up, don't have their name out there, have nothing. So they can literally walk away at any time. Nobody would know they existed. Okay, unlike me, um, who's here. So none of these people, I've said anything personally to these people that would cause them to um, feel a need to have gone as far as they're gone. But it's their life, it's their choice. They could do whatever they wanna do. Um, I don't care. I'm happy. My channel's growing. I'm making money. About to start this school up. Everything's good my way. Why do I care about, you know, a few um, hateful individuals? So now, um, with that said, next we're going to talk about this whole friend situation. Um, you guys got to understand, a month ago when I went off and said, I don't want to panel no more because, you know, I don't want to be around fake people. That whole stands true. You know, I don't. Okay, in the gig space, you have, like, people that you have paid or you have a few lives that get lit a little bit. So you have, like, about 15 people in the gig space that are, like, groupies. They run a whatever platform or channel that can go and get some shine and get some credit or get some, like, love, you know, because they can't um, build it up on their own. And it's nasty work. That's the reason why I won't go on Pedro's, really, because on this live, because I'm not going to be grouped in with these other people that just come on every single week to like like get some fame and some shine no i'll get my fame and shine if i wanted that on my own channel with my own two hands two feet i'm gonna walk take my time and get there i'm not gonna rely on somebody else to get there so that's the reason why i don't go on other people's lives because it's like no i don't want you no i don't need that so what happens is i allow people to come on my platform and people get excited because they come on and they think that um you know a lot of people are in the chat and they're building the name off my channel and then they try to associate that to friendship with me and you know i don't i don't really i've been here for about what seven months now i think in this uh, con or six months in this high rise and you know i don't invite people over i've never invited nobody over before a week ago, I started inviting people over. I said, we could have a hangout upstairs. I said, you know, you can come over, you know, hot tub. You know, I really tried to be like, cool. I was trying to open myself up to just being friends with people because I heard that friend word come around. But now I have to definitely close that now because um, I got to say, when I got all these text messages and from what in Discord messages, it seems like the only people that were like literally and you know, it's different from defending me and defending what's right. You know, if you're telling somebody that you're going to um, execute them or put out a hit for $500, which once again, FBI, I hope that my child mom doesn't see this or her um, grandmother or her you know grandmother or maybe mom or, you know, a few other individuals in my life see that video because they were definitely called the feds. FBI um, tip line um, because they know I won't do it because I don't want to see nobody go to jail. But when you put a hit on somebody or you go and you are, um, you know, try to dox this person and you're, you know, to the point of um, saying that you're looking through somebody's window at their kid, like you're making that like insinuating like you, you're going to do that. And you have people that, you know, say that they're my friend, we're cool. These are people that, you know, I actually open myself up to give them my phone number and, and text them. And then I'm to be told that this person literally said they would never even hang out with me, even though I suggested that. Um, when, you know, in reality, this person could have just said it on live. If I, if I asked them on live, all they had to do was say, hey, I don't want to hang out with you because... You don't do the same things I do. You know, um, I'm going to stay in my in my world. You know, what's crazy is the one individual, I found out that Cali Girl is actually cool 
with some of the friends of the, um, the, the partner of theirs. I didn't notice, but it's crazy, small world. So like, after hearing that, it made me really like cringe to say, wow. Wow. So why text me at all? Because why would I even want to do business with somebody that I can't even eventually consider a friend? Because it ain't like the way we connected was like, you know, we're doing business together. So it's just business. No, it's going to be like, you know, we're cool. We're, we're, we're going to have a friendly situation, you know, and this person actually, I think, asked to hoop a couple of times, whatever. And it's crazy because, you know, the reason why I'm saying this is because this individual was like, um, giving credibility and, and saying that, you know, the one person that was doing the most disrespectful, um, things saying the most disrespectful things to me and about my family, whatever, he was actually like showing this man respect and love while this man was doing that. Um, it was like almost like he was playing for the crowd. And I found that phony. The only people I would say from what I um, heard and little that I saw is wordplay and believe it or not, Kelly were only two individuals that um, I was told and I saw a little bit of actually spoke on what was wrong and what's right. And it wasn't them, you know, necessarily defending me as a person, but it's like when you're throwing out, you know, you're going to hit somebody for 500 bucks, you're going to get them touched. And then you're talking about looking through a kid's window, you know, and you only got, for all the hate the world people give Kelly, she actually has to be the harbinger of how effed up is that and freaking, you know, uh, wordplay. Like, that's just nasty business. It made me rethink a lot. It made me realize I got to, like, polish my channel up a lot better. I can't be having an individual like, individuals like that that are so fast to, like, jump and be, you call it, like, I don't know if it's attention whores, but it's something to where you jump on another channel and you, for, you try to be unbiased, but as the people are hyping you up, you, um, as people start hyping you up, you decide to throw everything out the window to a guy that you know, his real face, you know, he really lives here, you know, he willing, really was willing to help by any means, even if you didn't need the help or want the help. And you consider yourself trying to do business with the guy. And you trusted the guy enough to give him your personal information. And you had his. Kind of nasty to, to then go and like go on another channel and like be condoning. You know, and throwing shots at that individual. And then like, you're probably going to try to come back and act like it's all cool. Like I'm going to just be oblivious to this and like it's all good. Like it ain't out there. So, um, yeah, uh, my, my panel, I'm not going to acknowledge the people directly that behaved in this nasty manner who has been behaving in this nasty man. I'm just not going to address them no more. I'm not going to show them the love. I'm not going to acknowledge their existence. Um, a lot of people are dead to me at this point. Uh, but I will say, um, shout out to Wordplay and um, Kelly, because um, what's wrong is wrong. Um, and then also, um, Paris, you know, shout out to him, because he, you know, wanted to make it clear what's wrong is wrong. You know, should not be condoned. Should not should not be condoned at all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna move different. I'm going to now do what I didn't want to do. I was trying to allow people that were rocking with, I thought was rocking with me, to like be the focal point of my panels and all that. But no, I'm gonna just you know we got Kelly, we got Wordplay, we got Christina, we got Nab, we got Hour Seven, we got a few other people, even Craig. You know, um, I think that you know. So I just had to cut that. Um, I said something I didn't want to say, but let me say this. Um, you know, respect is earned. And a lot of y'all think that y'all just are entitled to it because y'all come on my panel or try to come on my panel and it's whatever. I'm not doing it no more. I'm going to allow those individuals, they can come. But the rest of y'all can stay where y'all y'all at because I'm sorry. I don't want to be in the presence of nobody that would be like saluting anybody that would dox and, and 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 go that far when they don't have a face picture, their emoji they can walk away tomorrow. But this man has to like live with that doxing. Mind you, everything that they said was all once again 
information clearly available on my Facebook page because I wasn't bright enough to bank it private or whatever because I don't care. I don't care. You're going to find out anyway because I feel like I'm going to be famous. I feel like I'm going to be big. Like, true story. And I should feel like that if I'm trying to do something. Who would think, like, you know what? I'm not going to be big. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it to the top. Who would think that way? Only losers. So of course, and people are gonna hear my information. It's gonna be ten times worse. What was being said from the messages I woke up to was nothing compared to what I'm gonna get. <coughs> Excuse me. When I'm really winning, I'm not even winning all like that. When I'm really winning, when I'm making thousands of dollars, I'm really gonna have to watch my back because it's really gonna be psychos out here. That's gonna be mad that they they don't have what I got. And at that point, yes, I got to move a lot differently. But until then, uh, I'm just going to keep my circle, my circle short, short. And it's only in California, one person that I'm now want to make sure I hang out with, which is Cali Girl. I just don't trust people, you know? And like I said, when I was inviting people to the hot tub, just jokingly, but they could have came. But I'm like, hot tub, the pool, barbecue, you know, or we can like drink, kick it, hang out, you know, go up there. We can have a little set upstairs, you know, invite all the people on YouTube that want to come. I was just trying to be open and trying to be like what y'all wanted me to be. A lot of y'all was asking me, like people kept asking me to do the hangout in Vegas. You understand that I don't really like being around people. So I would have been awkward because I don't like being around people because I just don't trust people. So now with that whole hangout, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it until I get big to where I'll have a security guy and it's gonna be more so people pay to come kick it with me. And that's how egotistical that, how egotistical that sounds, that's how it's gonna be. Unless you have like a Craig or Christine or somebody like that, that I can meet up with like Taz, Nav, meet up with in Vegas, you know, that's different. But I'm talking about like just random Facebook people, no. I'm gonna wait a year or two and if I'm big, then I'll have like a little, like, little conference or whatever and people that want to see me that in that manner, they can come, but I'm gonna have security. And no, we're not, I'm not doing now because of, I, I see how fast people switch up and are phony. Like, you know, and I think it's like, you know, when people saw, I guess some viewership coming, they got excited, not realizing that I literally, at the end of my life, shouted out that channel and said, hey, everybody go to that channel right now. Just go, who cares? Who cares? Just go support. I literally said that and for that whole art of war, like, like, analogy to be used, when I literally told everybody to go and, like, go to that channel, like, I literally showed the channel multiple times out of love because I figured that if I brought some people to him, maybe he would, like, you know, move a different way. But, obviously, that didn't work because he was literally at two people. And I kept showing you guys, showing you guys, the numbers, you know, because I knew that you guys, most of you guys that wanted that would go. Like, does he not understand that? I could have literally, when he put it into my chat, I could have literally have just left it alone. He don't understand I'm a marketing guy. I could literally have just deleted the comment and ignored him and let him die a slow death. But no, I literally showed the phone multiple times to hype up what was going on over there. And he couldn't just take that and just say, you know what, thank you. No, he had to try to make it seem like some calculator because he's a follower. He took it from, you know, K. So, um, it won't be any apologies over here. None of that. I'm going to keep living my best life and I'm going to keep cooking. Um, I'm not going to even, you know, acknowledge, once again, any other channel that engaged in that behavior. Um, I'm going to let them do what they want to do because when it comes down to it, um, they're going to mess around and um, continue and it's going to be bad. You know, maybe not me, but you do realize that the people that you're talking about, like, will definitely call the people on you. They don't understand that. They think it's all sweet because I put up this friendly whatever. And then it's to the point that people think that I'm sweet. Like, I'm going to just, like, you're going to just come to my house. And I'm going to be like, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm sorry. Come on, man. You must not know. You should know enough. Since y'all call me bipolar, y'all think that I'm like this crazy guy. Y'all should know enough about people like me and the type of people we are. 
Like, I'm the type of guy that if somebody was in my car trying to rob me while I was doing lift, I would be crazy enough to slam my car into a 50, 50 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour in a, into a wall before I let somebody try to kill me or hurt me or rob me. I would literally slam my car. That's how crazy, like, people like me, we are. Like, we think like that. You understand, I'm the type of person that, you know, I like, humor for me, it's like when I talked about, like, the homeless people, they didn't have a choice of um, going to a shelter or going to be put in the desert with their tent or being, like, thrown out of, um, or I said an island, you know, put them in an island, they can live, or whatever, or, you know, throw them out of a um, um, plane over a volcano. That was a joke. I don't want that for nobody. They don't deserve that, but that was a joke. That's dark humor. That's the type of dark stuff I'm into. So, guys, you got to understand, these people, they think that they're dark, they think they're about that life. They don't they don't get it. They don't get it, um, how dark I can be. And I have a platform to be that dark without getting in trouble. But I'm not going to give them the attention the time. Um, and like I said, it's going to hurt more with me now ignoring these individuals. They can comment, like some people that think that we, we cool, like, like whatever, they can comment, but I'm not going to acknowledge their comments no more. And when they come to try to get on my panel, I'm not going to put them on. I'm just going to let them sit in the backstage. They're not allowed because I'm sorry. You can't come back from that because, you know, anybody that sit there and condone in the comments and whatever, condoning a kid having his, be, having a grown adult looking in his window, <coughs> condoning, um, condoning a man putting a $500 hit on somebody. Um, somebody could donate all this when the man never said anything that would be personally affiliated to the individual in question. I can't rock with you after that. Um, so that's my response. That's my, not even a response. That's my reaction to what you guys wanted me to like talk about. Um, y'all wanted me to go off. Y'all wanted me to go crazy and y'all talk about lashings. I'm not doing none of that. They're not even important enough. I just, I guess I got to chuckle because I had to look and see the fact that, um, I had to look and say to myself, the measures and the bounds that people go, that it was actually said that they're going to ruin my career. Like, he got a few people watching and he's feeling it so because he's talking about me and he said he's going to ruin my career and I got to come answer the court. Like I'm that freaking low because he thought because I I came I, I I gave him time of day the other day to actually like come on his um channel he thought that like he was important enough that I'm gonna come on his channel again to that crap show like yeah so with that said I'm not gonna because I'm telling everybody every one of you guys that are watching don't text me anything about anything that goes on on any other YouTube channel. That, that, you know, talking about like, that is like under, you know, a thousand subscribers, because that's just a waste of my time, even to paying attention to it. You know, bottom line is they're not allowed on my channel. Um, keep it there. Um, I don't care about a channel that's not doing no numbers. It doesn't matter. They can say whatever they want. Because when it comes down to it, if you're stupid enough to believe anything that a channel has to say that has no credibility, they don't show their face, they're just throwing things at the wall, hoping they stick. And then you got to remember, I don't care. All my businesses, I literally, all the stories and stuff that they were like, I guess saying is all on my YouTube channel. Like I said it, I told all these stories and like people act like they forgot. People act like they forgot these stories that I've told. They forgot that I was literally in Wilmington picking up my son while I'm alive. And I said my child's name multiple times. I was with my son. And they're acting like they got some secret information when it's all right here on my YouTube channel. I'm sorry, this is just, I, I went on this long. Um, I'm just, I'm just venting. You know, I wanna make this clear. Cause I don't wanna like anybody to like not understand what I'm, where I'm coming from. Then when I do my question and answer at 11 o'clock, which I believe when this video goes up, because this video is going to go on premiere at like, I think 10, 15, 
in this video time a half an hour so right after i'm gonna do question and answer for any of y'all that got questions about this or about anything going on in my life now i'll answer those um <coughs> excuse me i gotta bless you in the chat otherwise i'm not gonna address any of that nastiness again i'm over over it um we're moving forward today um we're gonna start talking about topics we're gonna start talking about a bunch of different things i'm gonna start doing some pre-recorded videos and yeah that's where we're at that's where that's where we're at we're moving forward we're trying to get to the 110 people concurrently mark by the end of february and then we're trying to get to 150 to 200 by the end of march we're trying to do it we're going to make it happen we're going to be entertaining we're going to talk about some fun stuff yeah let's cook but with that said those that are still here those who are left here remaining still standing appreciate y'all for all love and support and the rest of y'all can go and and go back to the other side because i don't need y'all i don't want y'all and you're not a friend so the audacity for you to call yourself my friend and trying to say i'm trying to like force a friendship and trying to force you to come over my house and this and that like that was just nasty like people really are nasty and you know i'm gonna say this and what i mean by nasty is nasty work to think you're that important to me and you know i smoke my weed vape i drink my um you know i drink my my um, um do say when i got it I haven't drank i don't drink all like that i drink maybe once a week but i guess um, I shouldn't have any friends that don't like I guess if 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 I have friends or if I guess that the only friends I should have are friends that smoke and drink. I guess I gotta keep that company around me. I can't have friends that don't smoke and drink. Like Cali Girl doesn't really smoke or drink and if she does is maybe one time, like in three months. Drinking maybe once a month occasionally, you know, like like socially. But I guess I'm not supposed to have her as a partner. I'm not supposed to have any friends that don't drink or smoke because um, I'm a bad person. I'm a horrible person for just engaging in what majority of people do. Yeah, that was a that was a weird one. When I heard that, I'm like, this is like it's, this is literally throwing things at the wall, hoping it stick. Like I literally tried to force. Um, I tried to force a situation that I shouldn't have because people just turn fraudulent, I guess, when it comes to me. And I'm not perfect. I never said I'm perfect. I make mistakes. But when I make mistakes, I apologize. And some of the individuals in question, um, I immediately apologized uh, like crazy. Even on the videos, I apologized after. But for that to be held against me when nobody's perfect, we're all, you know, but I have a responsibility. If I disrespect you publicly, I'm going to apologize publicly, which is what I did, you know, and it was only in the context of what I felt was wrong. But like I said, I don't hate nobody. I don't dislike anybody. I just, like I said, I'm not going to um, mess with nobody. Does that make sense? Um, other than those individuals that, you know, What's wrong is wrong. Um, you don't like show love to people that engage in nasty work with somebody that you have a number and you text and you try to consider yourself cool with. Cause I know me, y'all call me out if I ever do this. If I ever come on this channel and team up with people who are disrespecting um, anybody that I have my panel, anybody in my chat, and I team up with that person. Like when me and Christina was like going through it, I never allowed people to come on my channel and sit there and bash Christina. We talked about the issue in hand, but I never let anybody bash Christina. I said, no, we're not gonna do that. And I would never go on another channel and behind somebody's back, say that, you know, this person's bad. No. And then like come and try to rock with that person. And the last thing I'll say before I go is, look, if you don't like my channel, if you don't like what I said, then it's easy. Unsubscribe and go. I don't need nobody to be here. But the ones that are here, I'm happy you're here. I'm happy that you're in the chat. I'm happy that you're rocking with me. But nobody's more important than my health and my mental. And I don't need any of y'all. So stop blaming bipolar health 
like bipolar isn't the reason why I'm not rocking with you. This video is nothing to do with me and my mental health. No, it's you and the stuff y'all say and y'all think it's okay because I'm too nice of a guy and I allow it all to go because I try to do the whole free speech thing, but a lot of y'all don't get free speech on my channel. That's over with. Done. Because um, y'all take, take it for granted. Then y'all want to go and try to act like I victimized you. But with that said, look, guys, hit the like button for me right now. Hit the like button for me. Hit the like button. And join the Discord. Um, Discord is in the bottom there. Um, join the Discord. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Be nice. Subscribe. Um, we're going to have a bit more positive tone and question and answer. I'll be up by then. And um, then we're going to do some videos, some trending topics. But now I'm about to get to um, um, signing up for the school right now. So I'll see you guys at in about an hour. Um, about, actually, about 45 minutes. That's all I got. I'm out. Peace.